Hey guys, it is Furniture Day, which means it is time for an awkward voiceover of me explaining how I plan on organizing my new craft room slash office space. As you can see, somewhere in here is a lot of my art supplies. And this is why I was kind of insistent about bringing my expensive supplies with me because the movers just kind of tossed these ones in a box. So now I have to put everything back together and it's all just kind of a mess. I am not by any means an aesthetic organizer. I just literally put things to get them out of the way. So this first drawer, I'm just putting a bunch of my washi tapes and other random objects. You're going to see that I own quite a few pan pastel and soft pastels and charcoal type supplies. And here I found this. So I've had this thing for years. This is a soft pastel set that I got for Christmas ages ago, like literal decades ago. And I'm just now realizing that it's by Sennelier. I did not know what Sennelier was back in the day. And now I think this is super cool. I've held on to this because I've been afraid to use it. And, uh, now look, I have like a hidden treasure. Good gift, parents. Good job. When I first started my traditional media journey about two, three years ago, I thought I wanted to be a pastel artist, so I've accrued quite a few soft pastel and pan pastel sets, and I really like them. Um, I just, turns out I don't really like using them that much. I think they're very pretty, and I like keeping them, but uh, I'll have to pull these out again one day and try to use pastels because they do look very nice. So these I wanted to try and make my own Christmas ornaments and then I ended up moving so didn't get to use those this year. In this bottom drawer here I'm going to use for paper because I have quite a bit of it. And I'm actually going to throw in a bunch of old sketchbooks that I have lying around as well. Uh, this one is actually a recent illustration and I still kind of like him. I think he turned out pretty good on that green paper. And this was really cool. This was back when Craig Take sent me some free stuff and they hand wrote me a little note there and they sent me some stickers. I'm gonna hold on to this forever. And this was when I purchased Arches paper for the first time. I heard everybody on the internet talking about Arches and how much they loved it, and I gave it a try, and I actually hated this paper. This illustration is not too bad, it just didn't scan well, and yeah, not my favorite. And this sketchbook is really old because these are illustrations of one of my childhood dogs, and she died around 2008 maybe, so really cool. I still really like these little drawings. In this next drawer, I'm going to put a lot of these little tins that I have in here. Um, as watercolor people, we collect a lot of watercolor tins because we're always pulling out our paints and we're reorganizing all the time. And I really like some of the designs on these tins and you can repurpose these for other reasons. I store a lot of like charcoal and other pastel mediums in here as well. These chameleon boxes, I usually keep the chameleon markers actually in these boxes, but I brought them with me in the move because they were too long to fit in my storage container. Um, these also have some additional nibs inside as well. This box I kept just because it's pretty, but it was a special day set by Caron Dosh.
And here's all of my regular shaped alcohol markers like my Copics and my Ohuhus and some other cheap brands. Uh, the strange shaped markers like my Tombos and the Chameleons I brought with me because of their weird shape. But these ones survived the move just fine in a regular moving box. All of my recent stationary purchases also survived in a box. Uh, thank goodness. Most of these came to me for free from Stationery Pal in my previous Stationery Pal haul video. So again, when I decided I wanted to become a traditional artist, I thought I wanted to be a pastel artist, and this was one of my first major art purchases. These are the Carb Othello pastel pencil set, and they're beautiful. I just decided that for me, pastels was not the style that I was going for. And then I had meant to purchase more soft pastels, but accidentally purchased oral pastels, which are fine. I've actually used these quite a bit and I enjoy those. my books i appreciate a good art book i like to collect them i find them inspirational i have quite a few and it's one of the primary ways i enjoy supporting other internet artists some of these are blasts from the past and special if you'd like a more in-depth look at my books i'm happy to go over them here's a couple that i in particular was published in These are empty boxes. These are the boxes for a couple of acrylic paint pens that I had purchased and tried, and I was afraid that those would get destroyed in the move, so I brought those with me, and they're in a different bag somewhere, but I'm gonna put the boxes in drawers as well. Got my computer working. I just have one problem, and that is I don't have anywhere to put my scanner, so I'm gonna have to hook that up, but it's just gonna have to go on the floor somewhere. This is my art cart where I had all of my art supplies next to my kitchen table when I painted everything. Um, I'm going to put everything that I brought with me. So this is everything that I brought with me in the move that I didn't want the movers to pack. I'm going to put all of this back in my art cart. I'm going to put that back next to my kitchen table. Okay, so I'm tired. Uh, I did have a way that I had this organized before the move. Uh, I had this thing here, which I had this for all of my colored pencils. I had everything separated out. I had my, I think it was my regular colored pencils here. And then here I had all of my pit artist pens. And then over here I had my watercolor pencils. And then I had my white and my black colored pencils separated. I also put in here my white opaque markers like my Posca pens and my jelly roll pens in here as well. But I'm gonna wait. I still have them in the little baggie I transported them with. I'm gonna wait until I actually paint something to do that. These I had my most frequently used paint tubes in. This bottom rack here I had for my paper and like my little palettes. Uh, this one I had my more of my most frequently used paint tubes. I have my paint brushes and then my most frequently used watercolor pans. As you can see up here I still have all of my pit artist pens are in here and then these should be the paint tubes. Yeah, I'll just wait until I actually paint something to pull all of this out. 
but for right now I'm going to ship this off to my kitchen table which is where I usually do my painting just to get this out of the way because I have a lot of boxes everywhere still we're getting there so as you can tell I own quite a bit of collectibles and unfortunately I'm not going to unbox like any of them maybe a select few of them but for the most part I'm going to put all of these in my closet uh, the reason being is because I've had to move too many times and it is no longer fun having to unpack and repack all of these. So in the closet they go for some time in the future. Got some more carnage in the move. One of my other collectibles took some damage. There's Zazu's little head and there's where it's supposed to go. I can't be too upset I guess. You can see the wings fell off in another move. I've had this snow globe since I was a kid and it survived for the most part except for Zazu. I have half a mind to see if I could, uh, well I'm gonna glue that back on, but I'm gonna see if I can maybe one day rebuild his wings using some Super Sculpey. Well, I don't know. And this bag here has some more random art supplies, There's some more washi tapes and my micron pens. Y'all, let me show this off to these. My sister's gonna, I don't know, she won't be mad, but she's gonna be like, where, how did you get those? Uh, these are like old school, I still have them, Tria markers. Let's see if I can get it to focus, I don't know. Yeah, old school Tria markers. I don't even know if they still work. These markers were like the bomb diggy <laughs> uh, before like Copic markers from my recollection. They're called Tria because they got three different nibs in there. There's an even smaller nib in here. I'm one handed at the moment because I'm holding the phone. Um, and then there's a chonky nib on this side. So three different nibs. I don't even know if this still has color in it. A little bit it's kind of dying just that in my notebook that I made with my art on it but yeah I've just like hoarded these for years the brown one still has a lot of color in it I was afraid to use these forever because I didn't want to waste good art supplies on my crappy art but these things have got to be like 15 I don't know maybe almost 20 years old very old very cool something to brag about my Lion King poster took some damage, got some scratches in it, but I'm not going to do anything about that because we still got another move to go after this one, so. These are pretty cool. I've shown these before, but I got these when I was like a teenager over snail mail from an online friend from the Lion King fan art archive back in the day, and I still have them. I also have... That I found in storage. These are little holiday cards that I also got from some online friends from back when we were kids and I just kept a, a hold of them over the years. And lastly this is my old external hard drive that holds all of my old digital art files from. You can see the date on there. This says I extracted it on 2015 but this has artwork on it going back to the year 2001. So it's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of old artwork of mine. So anyway, that's mostly it. I did order a new shelving unit that I'm gonna put right there to hold my scanner, but this is gonna be my new office space. And that's it for right now. If anybody wanted to see anything in particular, if there were any questions, concerns, let me know. I'm not an interior decorator, but this'll, this'll do for right now. And uh, that's all. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.